2002. With the most diverse large agency and metro government, and sheriff's office employees reflect the racial makeup of our community. Additionally, the percentage of female staff is significantly higher than similar agencies in metro. I am also proud this office maintains the lowest employee turnover rate in the country. Are you a victim of crime? If so, you should call our victim information line toll free at 1-888-868-4631. You can find offender custody information by using their name or OCA number. You can also register your telephone number and receive all... Okay, still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, sorry about your wait there. No problem. Send you to uh, Mrs. Pugh. Miss Pugh, can you spell that? P U G H. Okay, thank you. And she should be in her office. If not, you can leave her a message and she'll get right back with you. And what is her she official is, capacity? What's her role? She is a representative for uh, some of the various chiefs that we have. Uh huh. Uh, and she can either take your complaint or she can divert it to one of our chiefs, which would be the top of the line for us. All right, that'd be great. So you're going to get me through to her voicemail or her line? I, I believe she should be at her desk. If not, then it'll be her voicemail, and you can leave your name and number, and she'll get right back with you, okay? Great. I appreciate your help. Sure thing. Hold just one moment. Okay. Government and Sheriff's Office employees reflect the... Morning, Nashville Sheriff's Office. Ms. Pugh speaking, sir. May I help you? Hi, is this Ms. Pugh? This is she speaking. Hi. Um, I was calling, making a complaint about um, what I assume is one of your employees that was driving a sheriff car and a woman that was with him that claimed that she was also one of your employees. And I question that, which is, of course, illegal to act, pose as an officer when you're not. But uh, the incident actually happened out in public, and the um, officer was in regular clothes, off-duty, in a parking lot, taking care of personal business. Then he acted like he had business that might be professional. Then he wouldn't, he wouldn't identify himself. He wouldn't tell me when he approached me. Now, I was taking pictures of his car. It's really pretty, detailed, beautiful. Yeah, I w man, I wish I could get that, uh, the number from you, the, the vehicle number. I'm going to get it to you. Oh, go ahead, man. You ready? Okay. I'll give you the license number first. It was 1488JG. G as in golf? Yes, as in golf. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Unless that's a six, I'm pretty sure. If it's not a G, it's a six, because I wrote it kind of sloppy. But the, the other numbers on the sides of both sides on the, on the back of the fender, one is GY-8516, and the other was 422. And, yeah, the, I do want to let you know ahead of time that I videotaped all of it, and there are two separate videos, and I want to give you the opportunity to see them because I have posted them on YouTube and um, that'll give you an opportunity to maybe get on this before it goes to a certain extent on your end as far as publicity because to me that it really embarrasses the department um, what actually happened and I'll, I will tell you how to find the how to find it on YouTube so you can watch it for yourself so you don't have to take my word for anything but the um, car was sitting out in the parking lot, and it really was beautiful. I mean, like, just detailed. So I took some pictures of it, and uh, the guy walked out. He looked like he was about six foot four, two 240 pounds, and uh, he was African-American. I don't know how else to describe him, but he was, okay, wearing, yes, he was wearing plain clothes, uh, and he had tattoos, and uh, was real sweaty asking me what I was doing. And I said, I was taking pictures of the car. Well, but why are you taking pictures of the car? I said, well, it's just a really pretty car. And, um, you know, it's, it belongs to the taxpayers, and it was just here. And you know it's legal to take pictures in public, public photography. And um, he didn't appreciate it. So then he started asking me questions of what I was doing there. What business do I have to be there? And I said... I don't have any reason to explain to him why I was there. And I said, so is this your car? Oh, yes, it is. Are you on duty? He said, no, I'm not on duty. 
And I said, so are you supposed to use your cars like this when you're not on duty just for personal use? He said, no, no. So then he tried to explain that he had professional business inside of an eyeglass place. And I, was I located? It was at the, you know, the large Walmart shopping center at River Road and Charlotte Pike. Um, okay, hold on. River? River Road. Okay, and you. Charlotte Pike, and they were in an. He and this woman were in this eyeglass store, and I, I filmed it, the store and everything, and him walking out of it. So then he was trying to act like he had official business in the store. Then he said it was personal business. So we went back and forth of whether he was on duty or not. So okay. when he started trying to interrogate me on why I was there, I said, "Could you please uh, identify me yourself?" with your name and your employee number. He, he told me I didn't need any of that information. Oh. So then he, yeah, I said, isn't it your policy? He starts walking away from me, and I said, look, you know, you, you work for me. I mean, you, this is my tax dollars here, and it is your policy to identify yourself to the public when, when you approach someone in your official capacity, and you work for me. I mean, I mean, that's the bottom line. And so he went in, and he came back out and called uh, 911. And then um, to report my non-crime and constitutional right to take a picture of a police car in public. So he called and made a police report, called the police out there. Then this woman came out with uh, an attitude in herself, a lot greater than his attitude. You'll see it for yourself on the video. And so she claimed to be an employee also. I didn't ask her to identify herself because I knew she was lying about being an employee anyway. So obviously that she was what their business was about, and she came out and made a purchase. So they were using the car for personal use, him and his, I would assume, girlfriend, and called the police on me while I'm there. So now I have to wait for the police, wasting resources. So an officer, Morgan, from I'm assuming it was West Precinct, I think that's where we were. She was very kind, and I explained to her what happened. And then she went and talked to them, got their story. And um, then there were no issues, because, and I took pictures of her car too. And she gave me her identification and her name and had no issues with it. Because she, she was supposed to. And for it, yes, ma'am. Exactly. You know, I wasn't asking for anything out of the question. He approached me and was questioning me. I, I didn't approach him. So, anyway, this was all being filmed. Now, where this went extra wrong was I had two minors with me. One of them was filming with me, two of my children. And he's a very large man. And they both had an attitude. She was very loud. Here we have the police. And now he won't leave. because, I, And I don't want him following me to my car. Because I, I'm assuming at this point he would want to get my license information. And I want to avoid police retaliation. And I want my privacy to be protected. And my children's privacy to be protected. So... My uh, One of my children and I left the area and for about 30 minutes and walked across the street, stood on a public easement, pet a dog, and filmed across the street, and he never would leave. So after about 30 minutes, now I'm guessing at the 30 minutes, I didn't look at the footage for the exact amount of minutes, but I edited out a lot of that time because there was nothing happening. And anyway, you'll you'll see it. So we went back, and they're still there. He's still there at my car. And then the officer said, well, you know, the, the different businesses said that they just prefer you leave. And I said, look, if any officer comes in and says, um, uh, would you like this woman to leave? They're, they're going to, of course, think I did something wrong and say, well, sure. Even though I've never been inside of any of those businesses. I said, but the reason why I'm still here." It's because I was avoiding him trying to follow me to my car and get my identification and my license number. And he never would leave until I came back to my car. 
and he looked like a very threatening man, and with the attitude of the woman that he was with, no one would want somebody following them around like that. So to me, that was such a waste of resources. Anytime you have police going to any scene, it's a hazard in itself. And it was a waste of resources. It was unprofessional. And, and I'm, I want to file an official complaint. I definitely want to know who he is. I want to do a FOIA request on his phone call. I want to see if he lied on the police report or not because that's, that's a crime in itself. And then if she's acting as law enforcement and she's not, then that's a crime in itself too. And she was with him. So she needs to be identified, and I need to know if she's an employee or not also. But I also do want to definitely give you the information so you can see the videos. They are edited down for the content, but if you want more thinking I made this look different than it is, I can give you the full thing. It's no problem at all. Okay, go ahead. Okay. If you go to YouTube and you just type in the search bar, 51 dash five zero and then a space and then five dash zero and you do a search you will come upon an icon that looks Wait a minute. Like, um, one, hold on five one dash fifty and then a space and then five dash o okay. so it's like fifty one fifty five o okay okay there's an icon that you can subscribe to that's my youtube channel if you go there there's one entitled Thug TN Sheriff Employee Gets Owned Part 1. Then the second one is Officer Thug and Miss Thug Part 2 featuring Officer Morgan. So you can see the content for yourself. I can give you a callback number because I want to follow up on all this anyway. I mean, I, I really want this taken care of because this was wrong in so many different ways. It's just incredible to me. I couldn't believe he was doing it knowing he was being filmed, knowing he was wrong. And if he didn't know he was wrong in all of those many ways he was, he needs to be retrained in, in many, many different areas. I think I found you 13 hours ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. the other one was just posted gets... within an hour. Okay, so here we go. What is your phone number, ma'am? Okay, uh... Well, can you hold on just a minute? Because I was recording this call and I don't want it on yes, the on the tape. Yes. Okay, give me just a second. Yes, ma'am. 